Okay, welcome to this clip. Yeah, we are going to uh, look at uh, some variants, yeah, variants or uh, different types of annuities. Yeah. So we are still in chapter six. Uh, so let's go on. We will look at annuity due, perpetuity, growing annuity, and growing perpetuity. Yeah? So there are five types here. Yeah. Annuity due, perpetuity, growing annuity, and growing perpetuity. All right, let's look at annuity due. Yeah, annuity due. Uh, for example, you are saving for a new house and you put ten thousand per year in an account paying eight percent. The first payment is made today. Yeah, so annuity due uh, will include an annuity, yeah, meaning regular payments. Okay, this is ten thousand per year. Therefore, this is an annuity. Yeah, it's a yearly. Uh, or annual payment of ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Now the first payment is made today. That's why it uh, makes this annuity due, not ordinary annuity. Yeah. Ordinary annuity, the first payment will occur one period after now. Yeah. But here, the first payment occurs now today. Yeah. So therefore, this is called annuity due. Yeah. So the question is, how much will you have at the end of three years? Now, what are the known factors here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the pre this is the present value of uh, an ordinary annuity is one period before the first payment. Yeah, this is ordinary annuity. Yeah, before we go to annuity due, let's look at the review. Yeah, what is ordinary annuity? The present value of ordinary annuity. Yeah. So here, this is the present value of ordinary annuity. We have already seen this formula. Yeah, it's just written slightly differently. This is present value. PV stands for present value. Of ordinary annuity yeah, at time zero. It is equal to the payment. I used A before, A for annuity. This is payment. Payment is also an annuity. Yeah? PMT stands for payment. Multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus R raised to the power of negative N divided by R. Right? This is the formula that we have seen earlier. Yeah? Now, note this this present value of an ordinary annuity is one period before the first payment. Yeah? So, if you want to get the present value, Okay, the present value is one period before the first payment because the first payment will occur at the end of the first period. Is that okay? So this is an important point to note. Yeah? Now, the second one is the present value of annuity due. Yeah? Here we are looking at annuity due. Present value of uh, an annuity due is at or at the first payment or just before. Yeah? It's just before the first payment. Right, it's at or just before the first payment. That means this pay, uh, this present value occurs just before the ten thousand dollars that we uh, we saw earlier. Yeah. Now the formula for present value of uh, annuity due. Now note this. Yeah? There's a difference here. This ordinary annuity. This annuity due. Yeah. It is uh, the same formula, just like above, but with an added element. Yeah. You multiply with one plus r. Yeah multiply with 1 plus r that means you compound for one more period okay at this interest yeah you compound once yeah once or for one period more with this interest rate yeah so it's the same as this formula multiplied by 1 plus r yeah because this gives you uh, just before the first period this is one period before the first period so all other things being equal Okay, the present value of ordinary annuity is more than the present value of, sorry, present value of annuity due is more than the present value of ordinary annuity by the multiple of 1 plus R. Okay, so that's the point that you need to uh, understand, yeah, and also remember. Now, we come to the future value of an ordinary annuity, yeah. Here, this also we have seen in the previous slide, future value. Now, future value of an ordinary annuity is similar formula, PMT. We have used A before. Here, I use PMT. Okay, multiplied by 1 plus R. You know the difference here? This is negative N. This is positive N. And this comes first. Here, 1 is first. Here, 1 plus R is first. Yeah? Raised to the power of N minus 1 divided by R. Yeah? So, this is the formula for future value. Okay. Now, if it's future value of annuity due, okay, it's all, again, yeah, this, uh, before that, yeah, let's go back. Now, this future value of ordinary annuity is at or just after the final payment, yeah, this one, yeah. 
So it includes the final payment, but just after the final payment. This is ordinary annuity. Yeah? But if you look at the uh, present value of uh, annuity due, on the other hand, sorry, future value of annuity due, yeah? okay, this is similar, same formula as here, but you multiply with 1 plus r, yeah? multiply with 1 plus r. Therefore, simply it is the future value of ordinary annuity multiplied by 1 plus r. Yeah? Now, this future value of uh, an annuity due is one period after the final payment. Yeah? That means the final payment stops at a particular time. Then the future value of annuity due using this formula eh, will be one period after the final payment. Yeah? So these four points are very important to know. Yeah? Many students make uh, mistakes here. Yeah? They get confused okay, uh, between annuity due and ordinary annuity. Yeah? So this formula yeah, or this uh, particular page clarifies that. Yeah? Now let's apply to the form the the problem that we have seen earlier yeah? now this is the problem okay this one uh, ten thousand per year for three years yeah now we can show this in the financial uh, spreadsheet and also calculator yeah but we have shown this earlier yeah in uh, the formula we have used the formula before okay let's go back <coughs> to the formula yeah this is the formula here, right? 10,000 multiplied by 1 plus R. Okay, this is 8%. Okay, 8% uh, is the R here. Okay, and then raised to the power of 3 minus 1. All this divided by uh, 8% multiplied by 1 plus R. Yeah? So you get $35,061.12. Yeah? So you can actually apply this formula. Okay, this formula here okay this is 10,000 okay this PMT is 10,000 multiplied by 1 plus 8 percent that is the interest rate 8 percent raised to the power of 3 because you make three payments okay minus 1 okay can't see the cursor yeah, minus 1 divided by 8 percent then multiplied by 1 plus 8 percent yeah so that is how you get this value 35,000 Sixty-one dollars and twelve cents. Yeah, all right. We can also show this in spreadsheet. Yeah, all right. Now this diagram, I will go to the spreadsheet uh, shortly. Okay, and also the financial calculator application shortly. Yeah, but let's look at this uh, diagram here. Yeah, note that this is annuity due. The first payment occurs here. Yeah, an ordinary annuity. The first payment will occur at the end of the first period. That's the difference. Yeah. So, in annuity due, the first payment occurs now. The second payment is at the end of the first period. And the third payment is at the end of the second period and so on. Yeah? So, there are only three payments. It's uh, an, an, an annuity of three payments. Yeah? Now, if you take the normal formula, okay, you take the normal formula, that is the ordinary annuity future value formula, you get this value, yeah? 32,464. Yeah? Now, this is the uh, future value of the, these three payments at this point in time, at the end of year two. But you want to know the future value at the end of the third period. Therefore, this value must be compounded for one more one more term yeah, or one more year. So, you get $35,016.12. Yeah? This is only at the end of the second year. Then, this will be the formula. Okay. This will be an ordinary uh, annuity yeah, of three years. But this is annuity due. Yeah? So you want annuity due of three years. You want to get the future value at the end of the third year. Yeah? So remember again, the future value of annuity due. The future value is one period after the last payment, the final payment. Okay, one period after. Yeah? So that's, what, that's how you get this value. I've shown you how you can get this answer using formula now let's look at how this can be done using spreadsheet yeah and also we we'll look at that uh, how we can solve this using the financial calculator application right here we are yeah? so we are looking at the same example using spreadsheet yeah now this is the payment okay you can see that payment yeah remember the sign convention because the payment that you make into an account it's a cash outflow so ten thousand 
okay, 10,000 negative. Interest rate is 8%. There is no present value here. Here we want to determine the future value. And then we put the uh, number of payments, three, yeah? three years, yeah? period is three years. Now future value, yeah? you can use equal to future value. Okay, same, yeah? we have used this before with a slight change. Yeah? Okay, the only change is at the end. Yeah? The others are the same. Equal to future value, open bracket. The first value is the rate, yeah, 8%. Okay, the second value is the number of periods, 3. Yeah, you can either type in 3 or you can click the cell that has uh, the period, yeah, the number of periods, number of payments. Then the third one is payment, okay, negative 10,000. You can either type in negative 10,000 here or you can click the cell that has this payment here. Yeah? Followed by the present value is zero. Okay. Then the last one, you yeah, know this, this is type. Yeah? Previously, we have used zero for ordinary annuity. Now this is annuity due. So you need to put that as one. Yeah? One means annuity due. Annuity due simply means that the first payment occurs at time zero. Yeah? Right. Once you've done, you have done that, you close the bracket and say yes. Okay, or click uh, the tick, then you get 35061.12. Yeah? That's the answer we got from using the formula. Yeah? So it's the same answer. Yeah? So that's how you use the spreadsheet. Yeah? Using the function in Excel or spreadsheet equal to FB future value. Yeah? All right, now let's look at how this can be solved using the financial calculator application. All right, yeah, this is the financial calculator application. You can get this from this website here. You can see financialcalculator.com. Okay, financial calculator. You can choose time value of money calculator here. Yeah? You can go to this page and then click on this, and you get this. Yeah, this page here. Now, present value is zero for this example. Yeah, payment. Remember the sign convention. It is negative ten thousand. All right. Future value is what we want to solve. Okay. Annual rate is 8%, the interest rate is 8. Don't put percentage here, it's already in percent, yeah? just 8. Number of periods is 3. Note this, yeah? compounding is once a year, annual compounding. Yeah? Okay? Change this to annual because the rate here is the rate that we apply per period of compounding. Yeah? Even though it says annual rate here, it is per period of compounding. Yeah? So it's 8% here. Now, the other one thing that you need to change is change the mode to beginning, yeah? So that is annuity due. If it's N, that is ordinary annuity. That's the default, yeah? Here it means beginning means the first payment occurs at the beginning of the period, yeah? That means time zero. Okay, there are three payments. The first one is now. The second one is at the end of the first period. Then the third one is at the end of the second period, yeah? All right, once you have done that, okay, let me just click on future value, yeah? So you get... $35,061.12, which is the same answer as we got using the spreadsheet as well as the financial calculator okay, here and also the uh, formula. Yeah? We have also used the formula before. Yeah? All right, so that's how you uh, get this answer. Yeah? Let's go back to the slides. All right, let's go to uh, the next example, yeah, which is perpetuity. Yeah? We have looked at annuity due. Now we look at perpetuity. Yeah? Perpetuity, uh, we look at the present value of perpetuity rather than a single cash flow yeah? compared to chapter uh, 5. Yeah? In chapter 6, we look at a perpetual cash flow and the present value of a perpetual cash flow rather than a single cash flow. Yeah? So what are the known elements? The known three elements is R, the interest rate, okay, the payment. N is also known, yeah? even though it's not given okay it's a perpetual yeah so n is infinity infinity means perpetual yeah forever okay the unknown element is the present value of perpetuity that's what we normally yeah uh, solve use, uh, for perpetuity problems yeah let's look at this example suppose the felony company wants to sell preferred stock yeah at one thousand dollars per share a similar issue of preferred stock or really outstanding has a price of $40 per share and offers a dividend of $1 every quarter. What dividend will Felini have to offer if the preferred stock is going to sell? Yeah, that's the question. Yeah? 
So here there are two parts to this question. Yeah? The first part, you need to solve this first. Yeah? Now this